Welcome to the Fields and Strings Laboratory. This is a theoretical lab focused on fundamental physics from particle physics to quantum gravity. Presently, the best description of nature is given by quantum field theory. It describes the dynamics of elementary particles like electrons, quarks, and photons. Moreover, some quantum field theories are also quantum theories of gravity in disguise. This is sometimes called the gauge gravity duality. Unfortunately, our understanding of quantum field theory is still incomplete, especially if the particles interact strongly. In fact, most of our understanding comes from perturbative methods where we tailor expand in a small coupling constant that controls the interaction strength between particles. At the Fields and Strings Laboratory, we develop alternative non-perturbative methods that are based in fundamental physical principles like causality, conservation of probability in quantum mechanics, and symmetry, like Lorentz invariance, for example. This approach is often called the bootstrap approach. And we work a lot on the conformal bootstrap and the S matrix bootstrap. If you join our lab during your master program, you will learn a lot of quantum field theory. This is the recommended program for the two years of master. The physics projects at the Fields and Strings Laboratory are reading courses about group theory and quantum field theory. You will study, solve problems, and discuss them at the blackboard with our postdocs. You will also do some small research projects. I will let previous students tell you about their Hi, I'm Sebastian, and this is my experience as a TP4 student at the FSL. Today, I'll be speaking about the project that I did at the end of my first semester. Of course, there's a lot more to talk about, so feel free to email me if you have any more questions. The goal of my project was to study some theoretical concepts in QFT and apply them to the case of low energy QCD. Specifically, the goal was to understand why some particles, which we call the light pseudoscalar mesons, are light, as in their mass is small compared to the mass of the proton and neutron, for example. This project touched on many important concepts in theoretical physics, such as chiral symmetry, effective field theories, spontaneous symmetry breaking, and Goldstone bosons. All these topics have come up again in further courses, so I was very happy to have been introduced to them early on. Despite being a little bit intimidating at first, I found this project very interesting. <laughs> Hello, I'm Antoine, and I'm here to speak about my experience as a TP4 student at the Fields and Strings Laboratory. Overall, it was a pretty rich and nice experience. I had the opportunity to work on research projects and also to interact with many people from which I learned a lot. Let me briefly speak about the projects I did. Uh, I had the chance to follow a continuum where I sort of already started my master project in the first semester. The big picture is to use some recent bootstrap ideas and to apply them to a two-dimensional QFT known as the easing field theory. This is just a toy model on which we want to test the bootstrap approach, hoping that in the future it can be generalized to more interesting theories. In practice, in the first semester, I had to learn about some QFT concepts and I started to get my hands dirty and work on the numerical bootstrap in the second semester. Uh, I know this presentation is very brief, so if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact me by email. Hello, I am Noé Schell, second year master student in the FSL. I will quickly present my master's project on holography from matrix quantum mechanics. The main goal of this project is to understand the relationship between a matrix model on the one hand and gravity in a weakly curved background near a black hole on the other hand. To that extent, I am studying the BMN matrix model, which is a very symmetric model that appears in the context of string theory. It consists of nine bosonic and 16 fermionic matrix variables, that is n by n matrices. 
They only depend on time. It can therefore be described using only simple quantum mechanics. Then by taking the limit of n goes to infinity, I am expecting to obtain a precise description of gravity in a certain region. This is the relationship that I am trying to get an intuition of. If you are interested in joining the Fields and Strings Laboratory, please apply at our website. I look forward to working with you.